Friday As I was going up Main Street in Portlaoise Town one day I thought I saw some people whom I knew had passed away I saw Sis Connors mending trousers, Mrs Deegan selling sweets Eddie Boylan in his corner shop with bags of flour at his feet At the cross the road at Dalton's I nearly got knocked down When who should blow the horn at me but the taxi man Gilligan Brown oh, back in. I saw Nurse Mary Man and Father Brophy with their hands held to the sun Standing in the doorway, talking to Mary Dunn. Mrs. Black was in her record shop, she was wearing something woolly. Ned Campion was in the barbers, having his hair cut by Rocky Scully. <laughs> Charlie Keegan and Paddy Bergen, they had opened for the night. Dinny Griffey and Joe Sheeran, they were going into whites. P.J. Cabinet cleans his windows, he makes always makes them gleam. Bill Phelan was carrying jerseys for the Fort Leash football team. Joe Dunn was on the podium, he was shouting for Fina Fall. Jimmy Brown was selling apples to Mrs. Eyre, the pony stall. Paddy Brennan was on a post by Joey, Raptor was digging holes. <laughs> Henry Bannon and his wife Eileen were walking by John Coles. Terry Connell and Matt McDonald were going to school up in Tower Hill. Tommy Kyo was in his overalls, heading for the mill. As I headed out the Abelix Road, around by Yomore Park, a man <laughs> passed me on the bike, I was sure it was Charlie Clark. Billy Bowen and Paddy Critchley, they were heading for a game. Neddy Kinsler was selling chalk ices and bars of chocolate plain. When I turned around to look at them, someone made them disappear. And I realised that they were gone and were no longer here. So if you're ever in Port Leash and someone passes you by, be sure to stop and say hello, cause one day they will die. Oh. <laughs>